You want to learn how to use Webago AI. In this video, I'm going to help solve that problem. Webago is an AI tool that lets you generate. Webago is an AI video generator. They have a lot of these features inside, like you can do text to video, video in hands, and a lot more. But most of these features are on a paid plan. Now, they have been out in the market from quite some time now, like five, six months ago. But recently, it has been gaining popularity. On vivago.ai, this is explore page. This is where you will see all the community generated posts. Under the library, this is your assets section. Whatever assets you have generated, like videos, images, etc., will show up over here. Now, let's go to tools. Under tools, we have video generation. On here, one thing I like about Vivago is that they give you a prompt bot, which I have not seen anywhere else in all the other AI video generators. In text to video, in prompt, you can click on this prompt bot and it's going to open up on the right. On here, you can message it what you would like to see in the video. So let's say, for example, I want a video where there's a monkey boxing. It's going to give you a professional prompt here that you can use it by clicking the first button like this. And then under it, we have duration, five seconds, 10 seconds is for the paid plan. And there's motion strength. You can increase or decrease the intensity of the motion in your video. And below it, we have aspect ratio. Change the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 1 by 1, etc. There's seed and then there's negative prompt. If you want to avoid some things like blur, disfiguration, those type of things, you can put it in negative prompt. And then once you're done with this, click on generate. Now on the free plan, I've seen that in all of these tools, you can generate simultaneously. But you need to make sure that each of them is one generation per time. So currently I'm using video text to video. So it's it's zero one, which means that I'm currently generating one video. And if I go to image generation and generate there, it's going to show up another counter here with zero one. Now, if I try to generate it again, it's going to say exceeded the maximum number of concurrent tasks. Now, let's take a look at all the generations I've done with text to video. Now, next to this, we have image to video, which is just like text to video, but in here, you need to put your own image or select from assets. And then you can crop the image to fit according to your liking and confirm. And there is also an option of keyframe, which is on the free plan. So you can click this, and this is the first frame. So it's going to go from this frame to this frame. You can select from here and put an image. Now, for example, I want to go from my image to this Batman image. So you can type in here in the prompt, turn into Batman. And there is these options. This is for Wink. If we close the keyframe, this is Wink. These are all the templates available. These are like video effects, like all the other AI video generators are doing. But they are not like cake cutting effect or hug effect, those type of things. They are just simple effects with your eyes rolling or multiple expressions. Or you can upload a video of a dynamic face and it's going to take that animation from it and put that animation to the image that you have entered. Uh, then there is magic brush, which is on eight plan, duration five seconds, motion strength, native prompt and generate. Now these are all the generated videos made with image to video. Next, we have remove background. This is again on paid plan. But if you have Canva Pro, you can generate videos here, download them, take them to Canva Pro and remove the background from your videos there. Now next, we have image generation. This is for generating images, AI images. In the prompt, you can describe the scene. And below it, we have idea. You can refresh these ideas and click on it to insert it in the prompt. And above this, we have magic prompt. This is, this works same as enhancing the prompt. They have just renamed it to magic prompt. So it's going to enhance this prompt when making it. And there's tags. Tags basically work like what type of a style, color you want in the image. For example, in color, if you want it to be muted tones, aqua or those types, then there's style, wanted 3D, pop art, anime, art and realistic, 
that way. And same as that, these are scenes, viewpoint, and all these hairstyle, emotion stuff. You can add them like this, right? And it's going to be added to our prompt as a tag. Then you're going to add another one. Now below tags, we have upload image. You can upload an image here. And it's going to take this as a reference when generating this AI art. You can also change the model. Currently, they have these two models. This is on paid plan, premium on paid plan. Uh, then you can change the aspect ratio of your image, seed, and the image count. You can generate up to two images in the free plan. Then there's negative prompts, things to avoid, and generate it. Now, these are some of the image generations I've done using Vivago AI. Let's take a look at it. Next, we have 3D generation. Now here you can create a 3D model out of your image or text. For example, you can type a prompt here, a red dragon with wings, and this is going to come out. Then there is image to 3D. You can upload an image and it's going to convert that image into a 3D object. For example, here, the first one was create a 3D figure of Panda in punching action wearing boxing gloves. It created this. Now I can hover on it and it's going to play in 360 motion. Now I can download this as an OBJ or a GLB file. It seems like it's a little buggy. Like if I hover on this, the wings, look at the wings, they look weird. It's like it's not attached to the dragon. And same for this one. It creates weird artifacts on the 3D model. And these text to 3D models on their site looks better than my generations. Now next, we have character creation. You can create a character with just a simple prompt. So you can describe the character here or use an idea. Uh, select tags for this. For example, on the right, you can select character. So what type of character do you want it to be? Is it a vampire, student, man, woman, etc. And the eyes, hairstyle, costume, and other stuff. On the upload image, again, this is just for reference. You can upload an image and it's going to take it as a reference. Model, these two are available. Then the aspect ratio. The, these are some of the characters that I've made using Vivago AI character creation tool. Now next we have AI tools. These are all the AI tools that are not available on the free plan. I've checked them out and they're not available on the free plan. You need to use the paid plan to access these AI tools. Apart from these air tools, you can use all of these four air tools on the top that I just showed you in the free plan. Also, you can like and publish a video from here. For example, if I publish this, it's going to be published successfully. And you can click on this and download this from here. Or you can also go into your assets and download them or retry them. And I created this bubble head using Hedra AI. And that is it. This is how to use Vivago AI. If this video helps solve your problem, let me know with a like and comment.